Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So on November 7th, I took a trip to Paul's Valley, Oklahoma for a car show. But this was more than a car show, in a way. It was also a fly-in at the Paul's Valley Airport. So they had planes and automobiles. It was a pretty good time of year for them to have this type of event because you had to walk on grass to look at everything. But we've had some recent cold in Oklahoma, so you didn't have to worry as much about ticks and chiggers. Plus, you could tell the grass had been recently mowed, even if it was a little taller than you might want in your front lawn. And it was a nice sunny day. My favorite car at the show might have been this 1959 Cadillac. Just a very beautiful car. Also, it had a nearly identical color scheme as a 1963 Corvette that was on display. I'll just tell you a little bit about Paul's Valley. It's about an hour roughly south of Oklahoma City along Interstate 35. It has a Walmart distribution center and it is also home, or at least the airport, port, the airport is home to the Oklahoma Antique Aircraft Association. They actually have a facility at the airport and they were the ones who put on the fly-in and the show. Anyway, I very much enjoyed going to the show and would not mind going again. Although next time I'd just about prefer to fly in rather than drive from Bartlesville, Oklahoma to Paul's Valley. That was a long trip to get there and back in one day, but it was worthwhile. And I did a few other things on the way back. I saw a good friend of mine who lives in Edmond, Oklahoma, so it was a pretty good day. Oh, and another vehicle I would probably rate as one of my top favorite was this 1971 Pontiac GTO. The owner said that was the original color scheme. It has been repainted, but that was the original color of the car. As far as the airplanes go, I'm... Even less of an expert on airplanes than I am on cars, but I did enjoy looking at the biplanes a lot. My hometown of Bartlesville used to be well known for hosting an annual biplane fly-in, but they stopped doing that years ago. By the way, I don't claim to be a car expert. That was just trying to be a little humorous. Although I do know what year the first Corvette was made, 1953. That's an answer to a trivia question. There were no 53 Corvettes at this show, however. But lots of other cool stuff. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the narration and put the rest of the video to a little music. Hope you enjoy the footage, and please click like and subscribe. 